morning, family. Today is Thursday, January 4th, 2024. I keep wanting to say 23 so bad. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. And I hope everyone is having a wonderful morning. I know you are, and if not, you will just hang in there. Thank y'all for the support. And yesterday I made a video about a secret that all men should know about women, right? But well, today is secrets that all women should know about men. I ain't going to leave y'all out. So let's get right to it. Because I got a lot of work to do today. And uh, so far, so good. Things are looking pretty good for me in this new year. So ladies, contrary to what y'all think about men, I'm here to tell you some, some things you need to really know about how we really are. And when I say men, I don't mean male. Somebody with a penis. I mean men, like real, solid, uh, square jaw, chest stuck out, God-fearing men. Not boys, men. Get that understood. So when you're dealing with us, you'll know what you're dealing with, what you can do, what you cannot do if you want to keep a solid man. Certain things men ain't putting up with that boys will. Okay? Got it? Good. One of the main things y'all understand about a man is that we don't care about your degree, how much money you're making, about your career. We're proud of you, but we give zero fucks about that. That's for you and your girls to, to brag over about. Girl, I got my master's in such and such. I got my doctorate, but we don't care. We care about your character. What type of woman you are. What type of woman you are after five when you get out work. The corporate whatever you got going on in your career and your whatever you're doing, we, don't, that don't, we ain't got nothing to do with that. That's your money, nine times out of 10. You ain't gonna share it with us no way, so we don't care about your money. Men know that, that however much money you making, it's yours. You gonna be looking at my money, so we don't care about what you make. Your career, none of that. So if you thinking because you got this upper echelon job, degree or whatever, that makes you a higher catch, a higher priority to a man, nope. We'll pick a woman at Family Dollar, cashier, that knows how to treat us before we'll pick one of y'all with all them degrees or whatever, and think of you some type of boss bitch, or you gonna run some shit, or we gonna, we supposed to buy down for you because of your degree. We don't care about your money or your degree at all. Not that we jealous, it just don't benefit us at all. It's not what we looking for. A woman that's gonna be on, mm, be on my program, pretty much, because I'm a man. I have a kingdom. You're not gonna come in here and run my kingdom. If you wanna build your own kingdom, you stay over there and build your kingdom. You ain't coming over here building shit. Ain't no jealousy. We not competing with each other. There's gonna be a team over here, not you competing with me, trying to outdo me. You got more money than me, you got a degree, degree or whatever, I don't, we don't care about that. We ain't intimidated by it. We're not afraid of y'all. Uh, we're not scared of strong, independent women. We ain't, none of that. We're not dealing with the attitudes and the bullshit. Not dealing with it. I go get a nice family dollar cashier that's sweet, feminine, loving, caring, and I would take excellent care of her before I deal with your boss bitch ass. It ain't got nothing to do with being afraid. The cashier at Dollar Tree, she ain't scared of me either. She's not kissing no ass. She's not intimidating none of that. She just ain't fooled by her degree into thinking she's something more than what she is. She's still just a human being. She knows this. Y'all let them degrees and career fool you, inflate your ego the way you think you're more than what you really are, which is just a flawed human being. We don't care about none of that. Congratulations on your degree, but that ain't got nothing to do with being a good woman, I want to know what you do after five. When you get out work, what kind of woman you are then? I don't give a damn about what you do at work. You don't work for me. I'm not Mr. Oates. 
So what do you do after five or whatever time you get off? That's what I'm concerned about. How are you gonna treat me? How how sweet and nice and kind are you to me? Cause I ain't accepting nothing else. I'm not accepting the attitude. When I say I, cause I'm talking about a man, that's what I am, I'm a man. All right, that's one. Hold on, y'all, load me up now. If you slam this thing on my truck, y'all witness it. Another thing, you see these women parading around on social media, TV, whatever, they have a certain look, you know, the big fake booties, or whatever, you, whatever. The makeup, the hair, and y'all think all men like that. All men, we don't, if there's no one size fits all for men. We all like something different. Some men like big women would not date a thin woman. Some women like thin women won't date a big woman. Some like short women, some like tall women, so forth, so on. Y'all get the picture. But the majority, the overall majority of men, none of us like that BBL bullshit. I don't know who told y'all that, where y'all get that idea from. That, that, I came to the conclusion that y'all ain't doing it for us, y'all doing it for each other. For other women called we telling y'all we don't like this shit. We don't like all that fake ass hair. We don't like all the makeup. You know, the makeup is fine, but y'all, oh, you know y'all don't it. Them long ass eyelashes like y'all for the, if you blink. My bad, y'all. Them long eyelashes that look like if you blink, you gonna fly. We don't like all that, but y'all don't care. But hey, it is what it is. We all share that as men. We hate that shit. But other than that, there's no one size fits all when it comes to what we like in women. Each man likes something different. Got it? Good. We don't care about love. We care about respect. Respect is way more important than love. You love us, that's fine, that's great. Hey, I'll take it. That's like the pride in the Cracker Jack box. I'll take it. But I came for the Cracker Jack. Some of you young might be talking, what the hell is Cracker Jack? Go research it, I, ain't got, I can't explain it right now. But the love that you give me is like the prize in the Cracker Jack box, but I really want the Cracker Jack. I want the respect. I don't, I'm gonna get the respect. I don't care about the love. Respect. We not arguing with you. We not doing none of that fussing and fighting, going back and forth. I remember I used to do that when I was younger, and I see young cats arguing. Listen, young cats, do not be out here arguing with no damn women. Men don't do that. You say what you're gonna say, and you stick to that. She don't like it, oh well. If you're wrong, you go back and apologize and you fix it. But if you know you're right, as y'all say, young G's, they don't business. But men ain't arguing back and forth with no one. We don't argue, we don't yell, we don't raise our voice, we don't call no bitches and hoes, we don't do none of that. We don't put no hands on them. Got it? Good. That's what a real man is, lady. If you got a man beating on you, he ain't no man. If he arguing and yelling and screaming and getting all emotional with you, he ain't no man. Men don't do that. We don't get emotional, we rational, logical. A problem arises, we figure out a way to solve it. We don't sit there and bitch and, and, and moan with you, know what y'all do. We let y'all do that. We don't do all that fussing and hollering and screaming. We gonna tell you what it's gonna be, and that's what it's gonna be. We not going back and forth with you. Just not. We ain't got time for that. We got stuff to do, places to be, people to see. I'm not gonna stand here with no woman arguing about something I didn't say and something I didn't did when I'm in the right. Now, if I'm wrong, I'm a, a man gonna apologize. And he gonna fix that shit. That's what a man gonna do. He ain't gonna sit up there and make excuses about his wrong. That's a man. Nothing comes before God and his purpose. You are not gonna be a man's number one priority. If you are, leave. If that man puts you first, you're his number one priority, he gonna kill you eventually. Cause if you ever decide you don't want him or whatever, he ain't gonna be able to take it. A man, num the number one priority is God, cause he, he knows. I ain't gonna, some men don't believe in God, but God still got you too, he love you too. Despite what the church folks say, God love everybody, even the gay folks. 
that's what the name of here, no doubt. But a man gonna put his God and his purpose first. Because he knows that he ain't got that, he ain't gonna be able to do other stuff that he need to do. Yes, you and the kid are important, but a man knows if he ain't got no money, no career, no job, he ain't gonna have no house to put you in, ain't gonna be able to pay no bill, ain't gonna be able to feed you. So ain't none of that other shit, that love shit, coming from a man that's about I love you, but I'm broke. Men don't do that. A man ain't gonna be sitting around here talking about he love you, but he broke. Can't take care of you. We show our love and our actions and what we can do for you. That's how Y'all be wanting to hear us say, I love you, baby. Y'all like to hear that shit. A man will, will say he love you and turn around and beat your ass. So do he really love you? No. A real man shows his love in his actions, not in his words. So that's why we put our purpose and our God before you and the kids. It's God, our purpose, then you, then the kids, in that order. Cause we gonna put you before the kid because if you ain't straight, the kid ain't straight either. The mother and the father have to be straight in order for the kids to be straight. A man knows this. Got it? Good. Another thing y'all think, oh uh, man, we, we crave about sex. Love the fuck. Which is true. But we ain't around here, a man ain't chasing every piece of ass he can find. He tried to come home and beat down the ass he got at the house. Yes, we love sex. You're right, ladies. Men do love sex. But a man loves sex with the one he with. He ain't spreading his, his wood around all over the place. Because it's going to end up like when you put a pencil in a pencil sharpener and you keep on turning it. That's how they're going to do it. Do 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 y'all remember the pencil sharpener. Men ain't doing that. Contrary to what y'all believe, Y'all right, y'all will fuck anything. A boy will. I've been there, done that. I was a boy. I, I, I was a boy before I became a man. Yeah, a boy will. If you see a man doing that, it ain't a man. He's just in a man's body support. Men don't do that. C contrary to what your little better ass girlfriend done told you, men ain't sex crazy for every woman he sees. We ain't chasing every piece of ass walking down the street. We just not. But when we get home, though, we try to beat the ass down, we got the house. So you need to get you some rest before we get there. Got it? Good. So let me look on my little list, make sure I got everything in order. Make sure I went over everything, test on all my, my points. We don't care about degrees of your career or your money. We don't care. It's not important to us. That's important to you. We're not hating on you. We're proud of you. But that don't benefit us at all. We don't like the same types of women. We all got our different preferences. We ain't all dropping crazy, uh, losing our mind over some woman walking around here with a BBL, a uh, big ass. Even if it's a real ass, we all of us, we not out here fascinated by that shit. That shit don't benefit us. It's just a shitter. Men don't care nothing about that. All we care about is your character first. The booty second. No character, we don't want the booty. We know the problem that's gonna come along with a woman with no character, but plenty of ass. Number the headache, trouble, problem, we don't want it. Sorry, is that what you thought? That's what I'm here for, to tell you the truth. Respect is more important than love. We don't care about your love, we care about your respect. If you respect us, you ain't never gotta tell us you love us. I don't care if I ever hear that. But I'm gonna see that respect coming from you though. Nothing come before God and our purpose. You do not come first. And you shouldn't want to and don't, don't feel bad about that like you, we don't care nothing about you cause you ain't first. You still are important. That's what you need to understand. You are still very important to a man. You just not number one. He, he, a man ain't gonna worship the ground you walk on. He knows better. A little boy will, and when you leave him, he's gonna be cutting your tires and want to beat your ass and shit. A man ain't doing all that. You are not first to a man, and you shouldn't want to be. If you got a man that's putting you first, run for the hill. I promise you. Contrary to what your girlfriend told you, just like I told men, 
that in order to learn about a woman, you need to learn from a woman. Well, in order to learn about a man, you need to learn from a man. Don't let a woman tell you nothing about no man. Now, vice versa. Got it? Good. And we ain't sex crazy. We love the pussy we got at the house. Oh, Lord. I can't, read, I can't edit that out. But y'all, y'all, strike that from the court that they say in court. We love the booty we got at home. Yeah, we, we gonna want we gonna want that a lot, you know, unless we got something going on. But overall, the woman we got at home is the one we want. That's a man now. You look boy out here knocking everything down. Huh? You got you got to determine what you got. Whether you got a man or a boy, that's on you. But if you got a man, this is how you'll know it. This is characteristic of all real men. Bye.